Welcome to this Tutor to You Sociology topic video on changing patterns of family life, focusing on reconstituted families. Reconstituted or blended families are a form of family that is comprised of two partners and the biological children of one of the partners. Sometimes both partners have biological children from previous relationships. Reconstituted families are more commonly referred to as a step family. And in recent years, there's been an increase in the number of reconstituted families in the UK. This is due in part to the increase in divorce and remarriages in wider society. This form of family has become increasingly commonplace. According to the 2011 census, over 1.1 million children in the UK live as part of a reconstituted family, which equates to around about 11% of all family types. Sociologists have identified this change and look to examine why people are more likely to form reconstituted families in contemporary society. In previous videos, we've looked at the reasons for increased divorce, and one factor behind the increase in reconstituted families is the increase of divorce. Many reconstituted families are formed from the separation or divorce of a previous relationship. And another factor is the changing attitudes to relationships, with a movement in society from lifelong relationships to serial monogamy. Another reason is the changing attitudes to social institutions, such as family and religion, which also play a part in the formation of reconstituted families. Whilst our increased life expectancy means we are more likely to form several long-lasting relationships over our lives instead of one lifelong relationship, and this includes reconstituted families. So let's look at these reasons in more detail. With more people getting divorced than in previous generations, many lone parent families are now being formed. Despite the general decline in divorce, this is due to less people getting married, and therefore the proportion of marriages that end in divorce is relatively high at 42% in 2018. The average age of divorce is quite significant though, with males divorcing at 45 to 49 and females at 40 to 44 on average. This indicates that many marriages dissolve whilst there are dependent children in the household. People are getting married and having children later in life, as the average age for a first birth in the UK is 28 for females and 33 for males, which would suggest that any subsequent relationships that people may have would involve their children still being dependent upon the support of their parents. Once again, our changing attitudes to relationships have shaped the changes in the family structure. Giddens, Beck and Bauman have all detailed how increased changes in relationships and the focus on an individual's needs have led to greater fragility in relationships. The change from secure and stable lifelong relationships to more insecure forms of serial monogamy have meant that the end of one relationship will inevitably lead to the formation of another. People will look to satisfy their needs and one way of achieving this is through forming a new relationship. If those people are lone parents and they form subsequent relationships, this leads to the formation of a reconstituted family, as serial monogamy replaces lifelong relationships that were seen in previous generations. Another factor influencing the formation of reconstituted families is the changing attitudes to social institutions. Whilst there has been a reduction in the stigma of divorce and remarriage as society moves away from the ideas of religion and closer to becoming a secular society, Family as an institution has given way to individual judgments on what is best for the individual members. In previous generations, dysfunctional families may have been urged to stay together for the benefit of their children, while in contemporary society the focus has shifted onto the well-being of partners and how this impacts on the experiences of their children. Children growing up in an atmosphere of conflict may be damaged more than growing up with two parents who live apart but are happier. A further change in attitudes to institutions impacts on the socialisation of children, particularly into gender roles. While approaches such as the new rights suggest that a father is needed to socialise male children, other approaches will suggest that the reduction of conflict in the home is more important in maintaining health and well-being of children. Increased life expectancy has also impacted on the growth of reconstituted families. With general knowledge of health and nutrition and medical advances, People are living longer, delaying marriage and childbearing, and are more likely to leave a partner they are unhappy with. With 42% of marriages ending in divorce and the average age of divorce being in the mid-40s, people are looking to end relationships they are unhappy in at a time when they can find another partner to fulfil their needs. Second marriages in the UK are increasingly popular, 
with 35% of marriages in 2017 being a second marriage for at least one partner. This is reinforced by the growth of marriage and divorce for over 65s in the UK, with rises for both in 2017 against a national trend of decline. Sociologists are also interested in the consequences of an increase in reconstituted families. For some families, this may lead to conflict, either within the family or with former partners of biological parents. Arguments over access and financial arrangements are common, whilst conflicts between children and their non-biological parents and siblings can cause a distress to the family unit. However, there is also a positive side to the formation of reconstituted families with a growing support network and in some cases children being presented with a parental figure that had been absent in their lives prior to their parent being in that relationship. Second marriages are also significantly less likely to end in divorce than first marriages. 31% of second marriages end in divorce compared to 42% of first marriages according to the Office for National Statistics in 2017. That concludes this Tutor to You Sociology topic video on changing patterns of family life focusing on reconstituted families. Thanks for watching.